Alrighty guys, welcome to your 8th video, and in this video, the first thing I want to do is show you guys how to sync up two widgets, and then we're going to be talking about layouts. So, now that we understand about the connect function, and how you can use it to, you know, use signals and slots, and remember, a signal is pretty much an event that the user does, such as click a button, and a slot is a bit of code that you run, want to run whenever they do that action. So, let's go ahead and remember how to do this, Q, object connect let me just go ahead and set this up now remember the last couple of tutorials I said that the first and the third parameter in the connect function don't really worry about now well now is the time where we actually do have to worry about them and it's gonna make sense what they are after I'm done typing this but I'm not gonna uh, talk you guys through um, parameter by parameter so let me go ahead and type this entire thing and then I'll go ahead and talk you guys through it it'll make a lot more sense that way so spinner signal And for here, just go ahead and write value changed int. Oh, it already filled it in for us. Now for this one, just go ahead and write slider. And I know this is about to run off the screen, but for the slot, it's set value int. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that this appears on the screen like this. Now, check it out. Remember that this is actually one line of code. I just uh, you know shifted it down so you guys could see. So what the connect function does one more time is it waits for a user to do some event. In this case, whenever they change a value on the spinner, then we want the slot to occur, which is basically this is the code that needs to run whenever they change the value. So what code do we want to run? Well, we want to set the value on the slider. So basically, with the connect function, that's what the four parameters mean. Which widget do you want to wait for the user to do something to? Well, we want, of course, we want to wait for them to do something to the spinner. And the um, third parameter is whenever we call this function right here, what widget do you want to apply it to? So this is the widget that we're waiting for the user to do something to. This is what we're waiting for the user to do. And whenever the user does that, this is the widget that we want to affect and this is the code that's going to affect it. So in everyday language, whenever the user changes a value on the spinner, then go ahead and set the slider to that value. So now hopefully you guys understand what all of the parameters mean. And what this does, again, is whenever the user changes the spinner, it changes the slider. So now we have to do this exact same thing, but in reverse. So now let's just go ahead and change spinner for slider and slider spinner. So basically whenever they change the spinner, the slider changes, or if they change the slider, the spinner changes. Simple enough. This is how you connect two widgets and now they're synced together perfectly. So basically, again, like I said, this program is going to allow the user to choose how many chicken wings they want to eat in one of two ways through the spinner or the slider and whenever they change one the other one's going to change however the very first time that they opened the program we didn't give it an initial value yet so let's just go ahead and do that now and this is how you do that spinner set value and this is going to set the initial value to 10 so by default we'll just go ahead and put 10 chicken wings of course they can change that later on so now that we got all of the widgets synced up the last thing that we have to do is we have to create a layout and what a layout does is it determines the size and position of the widgets basically makes them it lays them out pretty on the screen so if you remembered we're using a QH box layout now what this stands for is horizontal box layout pretty much lay out these widgets horizontally from left to right in a nice pretty fashion so how do we create this layout well QH box layout and then just go ahead and give a name layout and set this equal to new QH box layout there you go now after we have this main layout what we want to do is we want to add all the widgets that we need to to the layout so layout the first thing we want to do is add widget what widget do we want to add uh, we'll just add the slider one first the order you add the widgets doesn't really matter and now after we add the slider to the layout we also want to add the spinner widget to the layout now that our layout 
includes two widgets, the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the main window to use this type of layout. So let me go ahead and code this first. Main window set layout to layout. So actually, let me go ahead and code the rest of this. It's only one line. Main, and then I'll talk you guys through what exactly I did. Show. All right, so you know that I said that even though whenever we run our program, and let me go ahead and run this real quick. First of all, to make sure I don't have any errors. And second of all, to show you exactly what it does. So this is the slider right here, and the initial value, if you forgot, it was at 10. So you see how I'm changing the slider, and the spinner's changing. Also, whenever I change the spinner, the slider changes. So there you go, our program works correctly. But whatever, what I want to talk about is this layout right here. Now, of course, in order to add the two widgets, we add them just like this. However, it's not that simple. What we need to do is we actually need to take our main widget, because remember I said, this main window, there's technically three widgets in this program, even though it looks like there are two. So let me, let me go ahead and show you. There's a main widget, which is basically the main window, then there's the slider and the spinner. The slider and the spinner are actually inside this main window or main widget. So basically what we did is in order to use that layout, we needed to take the main window, which is the main widget, and set the layout equal to layout, which basically means set the main window to use the layout horizontal box layout. And in order to show all the widgets, we don't need to go ahead and explicitly show the slider and the spinner and the main window. Since the slider and the spinner are inside the main window, we can just go ahead and do this. And Q already knows behind the scenes that since the main window is the parent, show all of the children inside. So I know that this can get kind of confusing, but trust me, once you see like two more examples, it's going to be a piece of cake to you guys. So that is basically how you sync more than one widget together and also how you use a simple default layout and that is pretty much the coding behind it so now that you understand the coding if you want to go set everything up in the GUI it may be a little bit easier but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to uh, you know subscribe follow me on Twitter follow me on Google Plus send me a bunch of money in the mail uh, you know give me a high five if you see me on the streets but anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you later